challenge we have today is that technology is changing so rapidly, but education is not keeping up with delivering uh, consumable talent in the ICT sector, which means that everyone that comes out of university has to basically be retrained and re-educated or educated from very basics to, um, to work in our industry. And our industry isn't just about selling to businesses, it's about being part of businesses as well. So what do we do and, what do, and how do we go forward? In terms of technology today, it's really reached a, a new inflection point, which is cl cloud-based computing. Cloud-based computing levels the playing field for everybody, large corporations, and creates brand new opportunities for small co corporations. The next generation enterprise is all going to be about cloud-based uh, solutions. It's going to be about connections between businesses and individuals. It's going to be about connections between businesses and education. So education and colleges need to connect themselves into this. They need to prepare their students to participate in this next generation workforce. And to give you some idea of the, the, the challenges we face here, as time goes on, there, are, there is a bigger and bigger gap between the number of people out there who are coming into this industry and the industry's requirements. And a statistic I have for you, a survey a couple of years ago, showed that by now there's about 600,000 vacancies that will not be filled for across Europe the European Union because of the lack of preparation that's going on in schools and colleges to get people ready for the workforce. So the, the, there's a, just a massive opportunity for colleges to not just participate in this but to be a catalyst for this next generation of enterprise, but also to participate in it. And the work that the NAF is doing is so crucial to all this because they are raising the awareness and they're creating a sense of urgency around this issue. Engineers always have been and always will be at the heart of change. We're one of the first companies to fit flue gas to sulfurisation to our coal plant at Ratcliffe. And we're also the first company to construct an offshore wind farm up in Blythe in the North East. It was only two turbines at the time, but it was a huge, huge achievement. Within the, uh, the energy industry, we have a considerable challenge over the next few years in trying to develop low carbon solutions. For example, if I take our meter fixers, we've committed to install one million smart meters by 2014. One of our biggest challenges is ensuring that we have the right resources coming out of uh, schools, colleges and universities. The New Engineering Foundation's Industrial Fellowship Scheme, it will provide the right CPD and learning required to ensure that the, the up-to-date skills are transferred to our employees of the future, another hugely critical thing that we need to get right. Having uh, NEF as a partner, we can ensure that uh, they are driving the right skills and the right links with universities, colleges and schools to ensure that that resource comes into our business with um, the right skills that we need going forward. Our business is at the centre of advanced manufacturing and we provide industrial metrology solutions to the automotive, aerospace and medical sectors and others for many years. Contrary to popular belief, the advanced manufacturing se sector in the UK is actually booming. And we're seeing heavy investments in the aerospace and automotive sectors, which are, are fueling growth and demand for skilled engineers. And of course that's something where, as a nation, we tend to struggle. Here we start with a powder, and we process that powder in a machine to produce very complex components, but in a single hit. Our own experience in recruiting hundreds of people over the last year has been that there is a shortage of people with the right skill set and mindset coming out of our universities and schools. And therefore it's vital that those institutions raise their game, work more closely with industry and establish a forward-looking view of the requirements of, of our sector so that we can thrive in the opportunities that are presented to us. Renishaw has worked with NEF for about six or seven years since the start of its industrial fellowships uh, programme and we're very supportive of the, the work that they do in kind of banging heads together between the academic and the industrial space to, to make sure that we are, are really developing the people with the right skill sets that we're going to need. For Jaguar Land Rover, um, the employability skills of students are extre is extremely important. Uh, we can attract a large number of graduates and uh, apprentices to come into the business. I think the, the work that's being done here today is fantastic in allowing universities, colleges and industry to meet to discuss these items and for them to 
develop further uh, opportunities for collaboration. And I think ultimately, uh, for Jaguar Land Rover, for the businesses involved in this enterprise, uh, it is a key element to our sustained growth. Thank you.